The majority of homes in America, about 90% actually, have some sort of ducted heating or cooling system. There's a central furnace or air conditioner like this, generally in the basement, maybe in the attic, or in the garage. And it's got a unit like this, a furnace, to make the air warm. This is the cooling coil to make the air cold. There's a fan to push the air through, through a main trunk. Now this main trunk has branches right here that go to individual rooms. At the end of those branches, there are registers in the rooms. The air also has to get back through a return like this, back to here to be reheated or recooled. Now, as somebody who works on these systems, I will tell you, there is one complaint that we always get from homeowners. It is that it is uncomfortable. The wrong temperature from room to room, from floor to floor. They also complain that it's noisy, dusty, or drafty. Now, there's a challenge to getting these things right from the beginning. You need the right size unit, furnace, the right size duct, the right size branch, the right size register, the right size return. You need to be sure the ducts are sealed and insulated, and that generally doesn't happen. Today, we're actually gonna see a new system that actually fixes these systems and makes them comfortable. So, Dip, you invented this cool new system, but you're not from the HVAC industry. No, I actually come from the defense industry where I worked on missile defense. So you're a rocket scientist. You know, we were engineers that would hit bad guy missiles out of the sky with other missiles. And uh, as we built those systems, you know, I got really good at understanding the different sensors you needed to make that happen, which yeah. is temperature, pressure, humidity. Sure. You know, and uh, my career brought me around to different homes and apartments around the country. And I learned that, you know, they were very uncomfortable. Every but apartment you were in was uncomfortable. Every single apartment, yeah. you know, and uh, it was almost a dozen of them, actually. And, uh, you know, what we learned was if you knew the temperature, pressure, and humidity, you could solve the problem. You could fix it. Yeah, and that's what we've done. I'm dying to see this. Can't wait to show you. Great. We're installing one now. I've always zoned ducted systems using conventional motorized dampers. You know, you cut them down into the ductwork, and you can have a couple of zones upstairs versus down. Right. We actually zone uh, right here at the vent itself. And here's a typical vent that you might see in a, in a home. So this is a floor register that's got the damper on the back. Homeowners always try to close these off and make all kinds of noise. That's right. And if you look at ours, they look very similar. But that's where the similarities end. All right. And uh, it all starts here in the front as you pop the faceplate off So it's battery-operated, no wires? No wires, three to five years of battery life on normal AA cool. batteries. And we actually have a circuit board here that's got a little radio in it and a brain. So that's the brains. That's the brains. Now, here's what's really cool. On the back here, we've taken a lot of the same sensors that we used in, in missile defense, actually, to sense the temperature and the pressure of the airflow coming out of the duct. Right, so there's a sensor right there. Yep. Right there in the back. And what's really cool about this vent is it also opens and closes, as you see here. And so here's the damper blade. Oh, look at that. that that's right. so cool. Silent. And quiet, yeah. That's right. But that's not enough just to understand what's happening at the, the vent from a temperature perspective. Okay. And so what we did was we built a sensor that really unlocks what's happening in the room. So this goes right over a conventional outlet. You plug that in, and you still have your uh, two outlets there. That's right. And what you also have here is USB that allows you to charge your devices, Correct. which is fun. But it also, that. Yeah, and it senses the temperature, pressure, and humidity of the room it's in. Okay, so one of these plug-in-the-wall air temperature sensors for every register? Well, actually, one per room, and then you replace every register in the house with one of our intelligent Great. ones here. Ready to start? Yeah, absolutely. So, simple yeah. enough. This is the right one for here? That's right. Same size. Look at that. That's pretty simple. Where are, you gonna, where are you gonna put this? So, you know, you can really plug it in anywhere, but for now, we can actually plug it right in here. So now that we've replaced every vent in the house with one of the intelligent vents, yep. and we have the sensors in every room of the home, they all communicate with each other through the hub. Okay. And what happens is they send all that information that they're collecting all the time right here to the hub. And the way the hub works is it just plugs right into the wall here. Power. And then you hook it up to the homeowner's internet connection here. And then what the hub will do is take all that information, mash it all together, and get you room by room temperature control. So here's how a homeowner would control their home. Off the smartphone. You have like it. everything nowadays. <laughs> exactly. So this is our house right here? This is the house right here. So I can see master bath, kitchen, dining room, guest, 
That's cool, living room. So do they still have a thermostat? Well, you know, you have one, and that thermostat is basically now a switch that tells the heater and cooler when to right. turn on, but it's really the hub making the decisions right. on what And all what those sensors do. are in the rooms. You have it. All right, so, okay, so I can set the temperature, turn it up or down anywhere I want? That's right. Also, what we have here is scenes, so let's just say it's time for bed. I can click bed here, and the home will basically adjust to the rooms that I'm in, uh -huh. set them the way I want, and the rooms I'm not in, for instance, the kitchen, you know, will get shut down. Right. And you can change those scenes based on time of day or anything Exactly, you can schedule those scenes. That is so cool. Right. So when I think about zoning though, it totally worries me to death that you close off enough zones, you're gonna either burn up the furnace and make it fail or freeze the air conditioner. Right, and now we're back on airflow and pressure as we talked about in the early days, right? Mm -hmm. And what you have to do is make sure you have enough airflow. And so because the hub is making all of those decisions, it makes sure you never close off so many vents that you create a problem, which actually prolongs the life of your HVAC because we're so maintaining that airflow. You'll always have the right airflow going across the furnace so you won't burn it up, you won't freeze the coil, you won't have a service call. You have it, exactly. You, you have my attention. I'm so glad you switched from rocket science to HVAC. Me We've too. We needed this for a while. I'm finally comfortable. <laughs>